All right, people, what's going on? This is Theo here, and this is a quick rant, and I wanted to do this one to aim at Boris Johnson. Now, he's been pictured wearing a mask, like you can see in the thumbnail, and, yeah, he's been elbow-bumping people, and he just walks around like there's not a care in the world. He walks around like, yeah, I don't need to wear a mask. I don't have to wear a mask. The man should be leading by example. And I don't know why he's not doing that. You know, he hasn't done that as of late anyway. Um, I don't know why he was actually visiting um, a hospital in the Northeast anyway, right? He needs to get real, right? I'm sick to death of these politicians who think that they're above everybody else. I'm sick to death of, of these people acting as though that they hold all the power, they can do whatever they like without no remorse, without no without no um uh without no reason to get themselves into trouble, knowing that they can get out of it. They can do whatever, right? They're not like us. They're not with us. Some I would say probably a couple of a couple of politicians are. But they are they but they're not like us the majority of them are not like us and they're not speaking to people like me like everybody like, like people like me uh, they're not doing that they're not really engaging the kind of, the, the 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 mood of of the people right yeah i know like the pandemic has got a lot to do with that but they're not doing they're not doing what they should be doing which is trying to you know really help this country get back on its feet right i can't I, I can't do it anymore you know i can't i can't support i can't support no i can't it's not i can't i won't i won't support the prime minister in not wearing a mask do you know what kind of that message that sends to people Right. Yes, I see more and more people wearing and not wearing a mask um, when when I go to shops and all that stuff. But I still wear mine because I believe in protecting other people. Right. Do you know how many patients I've actually spoken to who's got COVID and I asked them how they did they have any idea how much they get it, they're going to get it? They tell me they have no idea how they get it. Most of them tell me they have no idea. Right. You have to kind of understand that we are still it's not kind of you have to understand that we're still in a pandemic fact. We're still in a pandemic. We're not actually out of it. We're trying to get out of it, you know, but we're still in it. You know, we still got a lot of places in the world that's still unvaccinated. Right. And obviously we got we got uh, we got a uh, winter coming up. It's getting cold out there, but it's going to get a lot more colder in the coming uh, weeks and months. And yeah, we got this booster jab and we're trying to roll it out um, across the nation. We're trying. But this guy is not leading by example. And I'm getting sick and tired of what he does and what he says. This guy is no leader. I've been saying it for a while. He's no leader, right? Boris Johnson needs to look him at himself in the mirror and ask himself, can I actually lead this country? This guy is a fun time guy and we don't really need a fun time guy right now. We need somebody that's actually going to make the the the, the best decisions, the toughest decisions, um, be able to um, try and help people with the most serious um the serious stuff that's going on in their lives and try and make things easier right we don't want nobody that we don't want a prime minister that kind of hides himself in the fridge that runs away from 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 debates from saying from saying silly things over the over the last few years this guy is not a leader right a leader is somebody who can stand up who can delegate who can um, be empathetic. Who can call the uh, who can call the right shots? You know who can um, who can try and get galvanize the country, and he's not really doing that, right? 
there's still division. There's still uh, there's still division. There's still skeptics out there, right? We need to be able to be a country that's like seen to be doing well, and we haven't been doing that for a very long time now. Things are harder now than ever before. So stop with this stupid thing where you know. Stop this stupid thing where he, um, he if like he cares because he doesn't care. He never cared, right? If he did care, he would wear a mask. But this guy doesn't care, right? I'm a frontline NHS worker. I'm tired of seeing these people having to think that this is nothing. I'm tired of talking to. I'm tired of talking to people um, because they believe that what's going on is simply not real or whatever. Right? I'm I'm tired of talking to them about it. This is as real as it gets. Having COVID is no joke, right? I've seen kids have it. I've seen patients on ventilators. I've seen it all, right? You can't make this thing up. So, my message to Boris Johnson is you better come out and you better apologize and you better get your act together because I'm um, frankly I'm getting sick and tired of seeing what you're doing, hearing what you're saying. I'm hearing I I I don't want to hear it that anymore. You're not a prime minister. You're not fit to be a leader. You need to step up or step aside. That's all I'm gonna say. Anyways, if you like this video, like, share, subscribe. I'm out, people. Thanks for watching. Peace.